to In His Glorious Presence. I am your hostess, Evangelist Joan Hebzibah Martin, the founder and the CEO of In His Presence International Ministries. You're welcome to our today's broadcast on the Cross TV. We just want to thank God for Dr. Joseph, his family, and the whole team here. They're doing such an excellent, fabulous work for God, for His glory, that nations are being reached with the gospel of Yeshua HaMashiach. Many lives have been touched, changed, and transformed to keep them in your prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Today in this program, I have two mighty, mighty women of God, dear sisters in the Lord and dear friends of mine that I love dearly. Evangelist Pat Osuji. Hallelujah. Welcome. Hallelujah. God bless you. Jesus. Bless you, woman of God. Thank God you for coming. Thank, Thank you, you for honoring us with your presence. Thank you. And a dear friend of mine as well, mm -hmm. Prophetess Iris. Williams. Thank you. Amen. It's an honor to be here. Amen. Amen. Always an honor Amen. to be Amen. together serving Amen. the Lord and Amen. just seeking the face of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we can go behind the veil. We can enter in. Yes. Hallelujah. There's no limitation, no limits. Yes. And we go in behind the veil to seek his face. And we're here today to release the word of the Lord over the airwaves, over the nations, Amen. because the Father has a word for his Amen. people in this month of eighth the persecuted church in this month of eighth, month of new beginning, the month of his glory. Say, so we are about to see his glory, hallelujah, in this hour, in this season, because there is no distance in the spirit. It doesn't matter where you are. The Lord, the Father God, your Father, your Adonai, your Abba has heard your cries, amen. And he's about to arise, he's about to show forth his glory in your situation, wherever you are. Believe the word of the Lord in this hour, in this season because it shall surely manifest. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you want to open us up in prayer, evangelists? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we just want to yes. thank you. We just want to praise your holy name. We just want to give you thanks for your faithfulness because you are a faithful God. We want to thank you, Father, for bringing us together again. Father, to gather here, O oh God, and to be used of you, O oh God. Father, King of Glory, even as you are reaching out to your people, Father, in this season, at a time as this, O oh God, you are revealing yourself, revealing your glory more and more, O oh God, Father, to your people, mighty Redeemer. Father, we take authority over this environment right now. Father, and we declare that your glory fills this temple, O oh God, and it goes also into the airwaves right now. Father, as the viewers, King of Glory, yes, Lord, Father, are expectant, O oh God. Father, we ask Almighty Jehovah by your spirit, O oh God, Father, that you will touch them, O oh God. Father, touch them in every areas that they need to be touched, O oh God. That your glory will be seen in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise for we know it is done. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's indeed done. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the word of the Lord shall not return back void. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall surely accomplish Amen. that which he has sent it forth to do in this hour, in this season. And in this hour, this season, he's speaking about new new beginnings. Yes. His glory is about to rise upon his church, upon his people, Hallelujah. specifically the persecuted church. Hallelujah. Because Amen. God is not man that he should lie, Amen. nor the son of man that he should repent of his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Has he not spoken it? Amen. He will do it at his appointed time. And this is the appointed time of our God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just like I said, the Lord has been speaking to me concerning this month of August, the month of 8th, the month of his glory, the month of new beginnings and a couple of scriptures he had impressed in my heart but every week as I come on the program there are different things that are in the father's heartbeat exactly. amen exactly. because it's not our will but his will yes amen. Amen. yes man so we go to him to seek his heartbeat and incline our ears to hear Absolutely. what the father is saying and we are the vessels the earthen vessels to release the father's word here in the earth the realm amen. amen and he's saying this month is a month of new beginnings amen. of the month of his glory hallelujah. he said gross darkness shall cover the earth even his people said but but hallelujah, hallelujah. there is a shift mm. hallelujah oh, he said but your God and my God shall arise. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he's about to arise Glory. in the persecuted church in this Amen. hour, in this season. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you. So we're going to go to the book of 
Isaiah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. Isaiah 43. The same as Isaiah 42 said, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Mm -hmm. Say, Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Amen. Amen. Say, Before they spring forth, He tells us. Mm -hmm. We, His church, mm -hmm. He tells us, He tells His prophets. Mm -hmm. And we're here to release a prophetic word mm -hmm. that He's told us to release to the earthly realm. And Isaiah 43, 19, 18 and 19 says, Remember ye not the former things, mm -hmm. neither consider the things of old. Say, so Behold, hallelujah, mm -hmm. I will do a new thing. Mm -hmm. And it says, Now, not tomorrow, mm -hmm. not next week. It says, Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness mm -hmm. and rivers in your desert. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So no matter, no matter what wilderness situation you're going through right now, be it in your ministry, in your prayer life, in your finances, in your, manner, in your marriage, in your place of work, whatever wilderness situation you're going through, he's about to cause the rivers to, to flow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's about to release, hallelujah, his glory. Mm -hmm. Because he says in Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 3, he said, arise. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? He said, arise, come, come up higher. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the natural realm, what you're seeing. Mm. He said, come up high. He said, arise. Mm. Arise. Mm. Let your mind, have the mind of Christ. Begin to see with the supernatural eyes what kingdom he's saying in this hour. He said, arise. So you've got to arise before that breakthrough comes. You've got to see it in your eyes of the spirit. Mm. I used to run tracks. Mm. When I'm positioned at the starting line, be it 100 meters, 200 meters, four, 400 meters, or, war by, or one by 400 meters, or two, or, or, or two by 400 meters. Once I'm on the start line, the starting line, I already see myself finishing, going through that tape. I don't wait for the gun to go. In my mind, I already prepared myself. I'm entering the promise. Hallelujah. I'm going through. I'm finishing this race, and I'm, fin I'm, and I'm, and I'm running to win. So you've got to have that kind of a mindset. The Lord is saying it's time for you to arise to see his glory. Yeah. It doesn't matter what situation you're going through in the wilderness you're in right now, but you've got to arise in the eyes of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. You've got to arise and see the finish line. You've got to arise and see your promise with the eyes of the Spirit. He said, because this is the hour for you to arise. Because his glory and his light is risen upon you. Amen. Amen. So don't worry about the, dark, the darkness. That's what he says in Isaiah 6. He says, Arise, shine, for thy, thy light, thy light, hallelujah, Amen. has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Amen. Say, for behold, say, darkness shall cover the earth. And grows darkness, the people. That's you and I. He said, but, again, there's another shift. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, my God. There is a, always a shift, hallelujah. Amen. There is always a defining moment, a paradigm shift. Mm. And there is a paradigm shift in this hour. Say, but the Lord shall definitely will arise, shall arise upon thee, mm. and his glory shall be seen upon, upon thee. Because no darkness, no wilderness, no situation that we go through, mm can stop the glory when it is the appointed time. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So his hand is not too short. He's able to reach you wherever you are. So this day as you're watching, all over the nations, prepare your spirit, prepare your mind to receive this word and begin to go into worship and into praise and thanksgiving mm -hmm. because you need to just arise because he says he's coming to do the battle. He's coming to bring the glory upon your life in this situation. My God. Oh, my God. Woman of God, what is the Spirit of the Lord saying to you? Hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, um, when you give me uh, the scripture yes. in Isaiah 42, yes. 8 to 10. Yes. Isaiah 42, 8 to 10. Thank you, Jesus. And um, I read the scripture. It says, I am the Lord. That is, is my, my name, yes. and my glory 
will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Yes, God. I am the Lord. That is my name. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, if you, if you go to that script, that particular verse over and over again, God was introducing himself. Hallelujah. God was Hallelujah. saying, I am the Lord. Yes. That is my yes. name. He was saying in that verse Hallelujah. that his lordship is incontroversial. That's right. That's right. He remains God. Hallelujah. He remains the Lord. Yes. The Hebrew call him Jehovah yes. as the Lord. Yes. You know, and he said, his glory will he not give to another. That's right. And I kept, you know, meditating over Amen. that scripture Amen. after Amen. you gave me the scripture. Yes. Amen. And the Spirit Hallelujah. of the Lord took me to Isaiah chapter 6. Let's go there. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah chapter 6. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah chapter 6. And he reads, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up. Hallelujah. And his train filled the temple. If you know the scripture well, very well, you know what that train filling the temple is talking about. But let's, let's go down. Verse 2 says, Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Mm. The whole earth is full of, of his glory. glory. Now we are seeing what, the, what that train, oh my God. what it means. Thank you, Jesus. And the post of the door moved yes. at the voice of Thank him you, that cried. And the post mm. of the door moved. Mm. Like my sister said, that's a shift. That's right. The post of the door moved right. just at the appearance of, voice. of his voice, yes. the appearance of his glory. Oh Hallelujah. And the house was filled with smoke. Mm. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone, mm. because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts, mm. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a, a live coal, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar. The live coal came from off the altar of the Lord. Let's see where he's going. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this had touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here I am, send me. Isaiah could only submit completely when he saw the glory of the Lord. But the question in this chapter is, Why did King Uzziah have to die for Isaiah to see the glory of God? And the Spirit of the Lord began to unravel this to me. Could it mean that something has to die right. in your life right. for you to see the glory of God? Because the woman of God has been talking about God's glory since this month of August. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, she has been talking about the glory of the Lord. If you have not seen that glory... Does it mean that something needs to die? Yes. Because in mm. chapter 42, 8 to 10, especially verse 8, mm. he talked about not giving his glory or sharing his glory with another, Thank you, Jesus. especially to graven images. Hallelujah. Sometimes you, when we talk about graven images, mm. what comes to mind? Mm. We see idol worshippers. Mm -hmm. We see voodoos. Yes. We see magicians. Thank you, Jesus. But sometimes you need to bring it back home. Hallelujah. And think to yourself, yes. what is representing an idol yes. in my life? That's right. What is that idol that I need to Jesus. put out? What is that idol that I need to take out of my life? Mm -hmm. What is that idol? Because an idol yes. is anything that takes the place of God Hallelujah. in your life. You, it could even be your phone. That's Hallelujah. Right. It could right. be a Hallelujah. relationship. Hallelujah. It could be 
your achievement. Yes. Hallelujah. It could be your marriage. Thank you, it Jesus. could be your children. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that represents an mm. idol in your life, mm. God is saying, I am not going to share Thank my glory Jesus. with those idols mm. in your life. Jesus. Because since the day the Holy Spirit revealed this to me, after I spoke with the woman of God, I have been pondering over this chapter of the Bible and these verses. Why did King Uzziah have to die for Isaiah to see the glory of the Lord? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My God, that is so powerful. Hallelujah. That is truly so powerful. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, Something has to die in your life, I'm telling you, for you to see the glory. There has to be a death. Mm. See, unless a kind of weight falls to the ground and dies, mm. it abided alone. But when you die, it bears much fruit. Mm. Jesus had to come and die mm. for the Holy Ghost to be released upon all flesh. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. He had to die for the church to be birthed. He had to die. Hallelujah. And if we count the days, he died in the month of Nisan, mm. which is the month of April mm. for us. And if we count the day from his arrest to his crucifixion and his resurrection, it's eight in total. Mm. New beginnings. The old has to die. Mm. The law has to die. Mm. Sacrificial of ram and oxen had to die. He was now the ultimate sacrifice, hallelujah, hallelujah. the atonement hallelujah. for you and I. Mm. And that veil was torn that we can now all come and have access, mm. hallelujah, mm. access mm. to the glory. Hallelujah. Because in the old, the old Testament, it was only the high priest mm. and the prophets. Mm. The Spirit comes and rests on them. Mm. But now we are in the new covenant, time of grace. Mm. Grace was birth when Christ was raised from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the glory of God. That is the goodness of God. There has to be a death. Death to yourself. Death to your ways. Death to your culture, your traditions. There has to be a death. So you've got to go to God and say, God, what is that thing in me? Kill it. I lay it on the altar. Yeah. I nail it on the cross yeah, because the Christ in me, because yeah. I am the earthen vessel. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The ark of the covenant is not here. We are that earthen vessel. We, yeah. we are that temple and the ark yeah. that God wants to release his glory. Because he showed me that in 2008. Yeah. Woman of God, I was in a motel, homeless with my kids during my time of homelessness. Yeah. And this, this hotel, the guy who owns it, they had, I didn't know, they had like you said, graven images. Mm. Live cobra snakes in every room, every bathroom. I did not know. Mm. And the Lord visited me on the 23rd of February, 2008, mm. and his glory filled that mm. room. For three days, I could not move. And during that time of visitation, rays of light began to ooze from my body all mm. over the nations. Say his glory, because mm. we carry the glory. Second Corinthians 4, 7, says, we are the earthen vessels that carry the glory. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. I have a prophetic word for Korea, mm. for woman of God. I, the Lord has something you want to say to us, yes. Prophetess Iris. That is so powerful. Mm. What a revelation. Hallelujah. Something has to die. Hallelujah. Something has to die. Hallelujah. Mm. My God. Um, just as you were sharing there, Hallelujah. the Lord shifted my entire word that he had given me. Thank you, Jesus. For the people today. Yes. And we talked about his glory. Yes. And uh, it took me to Psalms 89. Mm. And where the Lord has said that the heavens Amen. are mine. Yes. The earth and everything yes. in it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the Lord just showed his glory you, yesterday. Hallelujah. Oh he showed his Hallelujah. mercy Hallelujah. and his yes, grace. Hallelujah. Because you, even NASA scientists mm. are starting to confess mm. that this creation was not created by an explosion. That's right. There was a hand yes. that put it together. Thank and you, yesterday, Hallelujah. God showed his glory Hallelujah. in the eclipse. Yes. 
Yes, Lord. Now, what happened mm. in America and around the world? Mm. People took it as a social activity mm. and as something fun. Mm. People traveled from California and drove to the East Coast mm. just to see what they call a phenomenon. Mm. But I'm telling you, it was God's mercy and grace and his warning yes. to this generation mm. that it's not long before mm. he comes. Yes, so he was showing oh us in the heavens mm. and continues yeah. with his grace and his mercy Hallelujah. speaking to us you, in the heavens. Mm. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship, Thank you, Jesus. prayer, praise, and worship. Thank mm. you, Jesus. Um, David was the man after God's That's own true. heart. Wow. And he experienced the glory mm. of God mm. continuously Hallelujah. because he was honest. Mm. He would fall on his face mm. whenever he made a mistake or mm. he sinned. Mm. He instantly mm. fell on his Hallelujah. face and asked Hallelujah. God for forgiveness, Hallelujah. for his forgiveness. Hallelujah. Then David had no problem Jesus. worshiping him. Oh, Jesus. See, he was not ashamed mm -hmm. of his God. Mm -hmm. And I'd just like to uh, end this little statement because I want you to bring that word mm -hmm. to Korea Hallelujah. today. But God Hallelujah. showed his glory to us yesterday. Yes. And in a visible form. Yes. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, God. So Hallelujah. the Lord wants us to wake up. Yes. Wake Amen. up. Amen. Yeah, because the time is short. Hallelujah. But his mercy endures forever. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, indeed, my sister. The time is short, Amen. brothers and sisters. And his mercy endures forever. God is about to show forth his glory. Hallelujah. Amen. He said the heavens shall declare the glory of the Hallelujah. Lord and the firmament shall show forth Amen. his handiwork. Hallelujah. And Habakkuk 2.14 says he's about to fill the earth. Hallelujah. The earth. That's all of every continent. He's about to fill the earth with the knowledge of his glory. Just like the waters cover the sea. Hallelujah. And while I was in prayer, the Lord has really impressed in my heart for the last two weeks to be in intercession for the persecuted church. And yesterday I was in prayer and today he released the word for Korea, North Korea. Hallelujah. Oh my God. In Romans 8, from verse 3, so we know that the whole creation of Oh, it's, you know, irritational creatures have been mourning together in the pain of labor mm. until now. Mm. And not only the creation, but we ourselves too, mm. this is North Korea, Hallelujah. who have had and enjoy the first fruits of the Holy Spirit, mm. the day of your baptism. Hallelujah. Mm. You enjoy the first fruit of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Mm. A foretaste of the blissful things to come, mm. grown inwardly as we wait for the redemption of our bodies. Mm from sensuality and the grave which we will, which we will reveal mm. our adoption. Mm. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. A manifestation as God's sons. Yes, For Lord. in this hope we were saved, but hope, the object which is seen is not hope. Mm. For, but how can one hope for what is already seen? Mm. But if we hope for what is seen and unseen by us, we wait for it will with patience and composure. Mm. That is the amplified. Hallelujah. Oh, oh my God. Hallelujah. He said, and he who searches the hearts of men knows what is in the mind of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And he intercedes and pleads before God on behalf of the saints according to and in harmony of the will of God. Mm -hmm. And the Lord began to show me North, North Korea. Mm -hmm. I saw you like in the, underneath the earth. Like you, you know, you have the church underground. You pray underground. You're hidden. And I saw you on the ground in prayer and in intercession. Hallelujah. Glory. And the Lord began to speak to me. He said, it's time mm. for North Korea to be released. Hallelujah. And he said, just like he said to Pharaoh, let my people go. He's saying yes, to Lord. North Korea, hallelujah, Glory. let my people go. Yes. In the name of Yeshua Amen. Mashiach. Just like Moses was a battle axe in my hand yes. to bring deliverance. Yes. I have raised up, hallelujah, America. Yes. I've raised up the president of this nation, Donald yes. Trump. He's a battle axe in my hand. Hallelujah. Yes. North Korea shall be saved in the mighty name of Amen. Yeshua Mashiach. Say, let 
my people go, saith the Lord. This is a time of liberation. I saw the walls. I saw the earth groaning because of the intercession and the wailing and the chains of God's people. But our brothers and sisters in North Korea, this is the hour the Lord says is arising upon you. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord shall be seen upon you in the name of Yeshua. So just like I brought Egypt out. Hallelujah. I brought Israel out of Egypt. I'm bringing you out of bondage. I'm bringing you out of captivity. I'm breaking the walls down because I am God. I am God. Hallelujah. And my glory shall be seen upon you. I begin to decry and declare a deliverance, redemption over North Korea in this hour, in this season. Lord, we thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. For your people shall not be in bondage anymore. They shall be liberated because the Lord is saying in this month of eight, this month of his glory, you shall see the glory of the Lord. He's heard your cry. He's come down. Hallelujah. And, and, the, and America is a battle axe. Hallelujah. Just like Moses was the battle axe in the Lord's hands. He has chosen this nation, the president of this nation, Donald Trump, as my battle axe, said the Lord. He is my battle axe, hallelujah, to war against the nations and the kingdom of North Korea. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Mashiach, God. Lord, we release this prophetic word. We declare, we declare deliverance, redemption over North Korea. We as the church, we stand, oh God, in agreement. We stand in intercession for our brothers and our sisters, the persecuted church. Hallelujah, God. Because we're all the body of Christ. Oh, Lord, we thank you. My Lord, my God, we release this prophetic word over North Korea. We thank you, oh God, that your glory shall be seen. If you do not know the Lord, we invite you this day to say a simple prayer. So you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, that you shall be saved. And the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, the new covenant will come upon you in the name of Yeshua Mashiach. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you, and may he continuously cause his glorious face yes. to shine upon you. Yes. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Father God, for your glory, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.